Hello and welcome to our introduction to our twilight session for Wednesday the 26th of February. We hope that you find this a much more useful way to get the information across to you rather than bringing everybody together. That way you're not all having to spend a lot of time travelling after work to get to the venue for us to explain what you need to be doing then to go off and having had wasted time. So hopefully this will give you the chance to be able to get a brief introduction as to what the plan of action is and then be able to spend much more time doing useful work within your schools. The plan behind the action research for today's session is to be able to give you the opportunity to undertake some research for yourself. So start off, what's it all about then? Well, the idea behind the action research is really one about you becoming the researcher, you going away and having that opportunity within this two hour session, which very rarely you get that time to yourself to be able to go away and think about something that you are particularly interested in. The idea of the research is that it needs to be goal focused in that by the end of it, you have got something out of it for yourself, whether it's more information or you've been able to do something differently within your classroom to improve the teaching and learning for all of your pupils. Obviously, it's the plan is that it's around an area of interest because the more interested you are in something, then the more likely you are to be enjoying it and the more likely you are to be able to go a bit further and put that bit of extra time into making sure that you've come up with some high quality research. So the benefits of carrying out this action research rather than having somebody like myself standing in front of you and talking to you for a few hours is that it has got more relevance to you. So we want something that's going to make a difference to you within the classroom. So you have carried out some research and it has made some improvement for your pupils. You've identified an area that needs looking at, you've gone away, you thought about the research behind it, you've put something in place, and hopefully, as a result, you're getting a positive outcome. And obviously, it has benefit to all of your colleagues as well, because the more different amounts of CPD that you're involved in will benefit the trust, because then you can then feed your research and your ideas into CPD, which might benefit other people. So a possible way that you could go about carrying out your action research, and this is only a possible suggestion, is to be looking at it in relation to the GROW model that we've been looking at within your different schools during this term. So as you're well aware of the GROW model, it's about you having a goal. Now that goal might be something like to be able to improve reading within my classroom. It might be how can I improve well-being for my colleagues? It might be what is the best way to deal with behaviour. That goal comes from you and what your particular interest in. Reality, so you'll be looking at where things currently are within your school, within your classroom. Is it working? Is it not working? The suggestion would be that obviously you're looking into an area that you think you know could do with a little bit more work. It's about you looking at the options. This is where the research comes into it, having a look what research is out there, what ideas are there to be able to improve practice within your area. Then moving on to the final stage, the what next. So you've done your research, you've tested it in your classroom, you've seen whether it's worked and then make a decision at the end of it, whether it works for me, I'm going to continue to do it or no, I tried it, it's not worked. I'm going to go on to either something different or go back to my previous way because that was more effective. So what is it that you actually need to produce as a result of undertaking your research? Well, what we're looking for as a basis is a one page evaluation of what you found out. So basically you need to complete a five box model. This will be emailed to you. So first of all, what it was you researched where it was you looked for the information, whether it be the internet, whether it be books, whether it be journals or somewhere different, what it is you actually found out from carrying out your research, from carrying out your research, what you tried, whether that be in the classroom, staff meeting, or a shared resource with yourself and other colleagues, and then eventually how it went. You might though, however, want to do a little bit further on from this, and you might want to add another page um, showing your research and this could be in the form of text, 
could be diagrams that you produce, could be pictures, could be a mixture of all of them, or there might be a better way that you can find to present your information. This second page is entirely optional and up to you, and it's just there should you wish to produce some extra information to back up your five box evaluation. You need to hand your completed evaluation into your teaching and learning lead. And if we could ask if this could be back to that teaching and learning lead by Friday, the 27th of March, this will then give us time to be able to chase up any that haven't come back. So what then? You know, you've spent all of this time carrying out your research and it's very important that you feel that your time has not been wasted. So what will we then do with that research? Well, in terms of now what? We will take all of the ideas and collate them into a book, which will then be able to be kept in each school. This will give you a bank of high quality CPD and research, which hopefully will be useful. It will form part of our upcoming teaching and learning newsletter articles. What we'll do is we'll take some of that information and put it into upcoming articles so that it can be shared effectively across all of our schools. And it might be that we can use some of the research if you've been particularly interested in what you've been carried out and want to take it further to your own CPD, which then obviously will feed into your performance management moving forward. So finally, what can we bring from this? Well, this is all about you having ownership of your development. It's about that giving you the opportunity to look at something that you're particularly interested in. It's about you enjoying this research. It's about rather than you sitting at a twilight for two hours thinking, oh, was that relevant to me? Was that interesting for me? You take the ownership. You do something that you're enjoy, enjoying and that you're passionate about and that you feel supported. Obviously, this is not about you going away and having to struggle by yourself, your teaching and learning lead, your SLT, your CPD lead. They're all there to help you to be able to make the very best you can of this opportunity. And finally, just obviously a thank you, because obviously this is going to be taking you time. This is about you doing the research. So a big thank you for all of your time and effort to create such high quality pieces of research, which you're going to be undertaking. So you'll be pleased to know that's it from me. And so it's over to you. Happy researching. And we look forward to hearing all of your research that you've carried out.